If you're trying to figure out how to record your voice online, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to dig into online voice recorders, how they work, which one to use, and I'll walk you through exactly how to get that online audio recording done with, hopefully, zero fuss. Quick question before we jump in, what is it you're recording this audio for? I'd love it if you pop that in the comments below. Let me know what you're recording and I'm happy to give you some extra advice tailored to whatever it is you are recording personally. Plus, it just piques my curiosity, helps me create better content in future if I know what it is you're creating. Right, enough of the intros, let's get into it. Let's find out how to use an online voice recorder. So how will we actually do this? I'm going to show you how to record audio online in an app called Alitu, which is designed as a podcast recording software. But Alitu works for any kind of voice recording from audiobooks to teaching materials to company updates, anything like that at all. And this approach is almost the same in a few different alternatives too. So I'm going to pop a link up here, which will take you towards a video that I've done on all the different call recording tools, all the different online recording apps, so you can see which one would suit you. But Alitu has a few different bonuses, which is worth checking out. It's got audio cleanup, for example, which takes out your noise reduction, does all your audio leveling, makes you sound really good. And it also has editing built in. So you can record into the same place as you can cut out mistakes or trim down the silences or cut out your ums and as automatically as well. So it's a good tool if you want to do all of those parts together. It also lets you create a larger production, like a course or something from a few different clips because you can piece together different recordings. You can add music, anything like that to create that, that larger clip that you need for whatever your context is. But in this video, I'm going to stick to mostly the audio recording. I'll give you a wee demo of the editing, but mostly audio recording. If you do want to learn about audio editing later, then I'll put another link up here to take you towards a whole bunch of videos I've got on them. Right now though, let's dig into it. How do we use a voice recorder online? This is the home space in Alitu, so we'll go to record, which takes us into the recording studio. You can see that over on the left. To record your voice online, to record any audio online, you need to go down here and make sure you've got the right microphone selected. So make sure you've got the right one. Often you'll find you have internal mics as well as your USB mics. I'd recommend an external USB mic to record any kind of voice online because it's so much higher quality than trying to record from either a webcam mic or from an internal mic on your laptop. I'll put a link in the top left here for a guide to microphones though. Let's not dig into that here. If you do want to find a good mic though, check out that link and you'll see a few recommendations from me. You can get a great mic for just $50 or so and a really good one for over 100 if you have the budget. So once you've got that selected though, you might want to check your webcam as well. We're just recording voice here, but sometimes it's good to see yourself. And then we're going to record inside the recording studio. So that's us inside the recording studio here. A reminder up here that says start recording when ready. There's none of us, no matter how experienced, that hasn't forgotten to hit the start recording button at some point in our lives. So do make sure before you start recording that you do hit that button. So that's it really. All you do is hit start recording and then we can see the counter ticking up and the big red recording here. It doesn't matter if you're recording on a digital recorder outside in physical world or if you're online, wherever, you always tend to have these two signals that the recording is working. You've got the time ticking up, always check that, and you've got the big red sign here. Often on a digital recorder or something like that, you'll have a little red light. But here we have the recording sign here. And the other thing worth checking as well is this little signal down here. See this on the bottom right of the image or on the very bottom left of the screen here. We've got two of them showing up. That's a volume meter. So you can see it's jumping up and down as I speak. And that is just a, an analog of a digital recorder or a mixing desk that would show the levels as you're recording. As long as you can see that jumping up and down, it means that your voice is going through into the recorder. Often though, if I'm going to record something longer, I will stop. I'll record something short just as a test, make sure it's all working because there's nothing worse <laughs> than recording 20 minutes of something, even an hour of something and realizing at the end that it wasn't the right mic, that it just wasn't set up properly altogether, that nothing has been captured. So worth keeping an eye on those things. A couple of tools in here. If you do want to stop and cough, you can hit the mute button. That turns off my mic inside Alitu. 
and you've got the disable for the uh, for the video here too if that's putting you off and everything else in here really is sort of extraneous because Ality can also record calls so you could invite other people in here in the future if you're recording a call with two or more people you could do that in here if you want to so it's not just solo calls uh, or solo recordings I should say you can do online voice recordings for multiple people in here as well now once I'm finished with my recording I'll hit stop up here you did see I had a pause button there too, if you ever need to pause halfway through. And then I'm going to go straight to my library and see that recording. So it'll take a few seconds for that to appear in my library. Refresh now and you should see it there. There we go. So call recording. That is what I've just recorded just now. Just myself in there, solo. It's doing the cleanup so you can see that spinning circle there. That means that it's cleaning up my voice. It's doing the noise reduction, the leveling, the EQ, all of that stuff to make me sound good. And once that's finished, I can download this directly and use it wherever I like. So I can download it from here once that's ready. And then I'm all set to use that audio recording, that voice recording, wherever I need to. Now, I did say I wasn't going to dig into the editing in this video, but let me just show you where that appears because there's another way to actually record a few different clips just in case you need to record yourself a few different times. You know, you've got a few different scripts, a few different segments. You can piece them all together really nicely here so you can record and arrange them all in one place. Let's take a look at that. So if I want to do that, make an arrangement, all I'm doing is adding a new episode. Obviously, we're not recording a podcast necessarily here, but it treats it as an episode if you want more than one or two recordings in the same place. So maybe this is one from my um, lesson one on my new course. We'll do that, save details. And I'll just go straight through. You could upload files here, so you can do, or you can add from your library. You can record directly in at this point. But let's skip that for the moment, because what I want is just to show you that in here, this is where we arrange it. So let's say that recording I made just a minute ago, I want to add that in. So here it is here, that call recording. Now we're all finished on cleanup, so sounding really good. Press add there. And then I can add anything else I like using these plus buttons. So let's say I want to add something else after that. I've forgotten to put something into this recording. So I'm going to record a quick thing after that just to add on. So that's the library. So I could add more from my library. I could upload a file from elsewhere. Let's say I've got a little clip that I recorded in a live broadcast or I recorded on my phone when I was out and about or anywhere else. You can upload that file here. Or I can just go into record audio right here. I can say this is part two of my recording. Click start recording here and that is going to start recording my voice right into the app. So that's recording online right now. So I can speak away. I've got my microphone selector here just as we had in the call recording room. But if I hit stop recording there, you'll see that it does a little uh, preview so I can listen to it, make sure it all sounds good. Hit save and that'll upload it into the episode. And it's now cleaning it up again. Similar kind of thing, noise reduction, leveling, making me sound good. That's all happening here. That'll take another 10, 15, 20 seconds. But now these two, once I produce it, once I build my episode using this button down here, these will be pieced together and I can download the whole thing at the end. So this is just a way of being able to piece together a few different voice recordings. So if you're recording voice online, you're recording audio online, but you maybe want to piece them all together a little bit, you can do that directly in here too. If I want another piece, I just hit that button again, I go back to record, I record it straight in and it'll do the cleanup. Now, very quickly, I wasn't going to dig into the editing, but if you want to do that, all you do is click this edit button and you do have an audio editor in here. It's got some automatic filters to take out silences, take out ums and ahs automatically, which is always quite nice if we're a bit of an ums and an azer. And you can do your trim as well. So to cut off, let's say the silence at the end, all you do is hit that go right to the end, cut this out. You can do a little preview as well. I can zoom in, go here, right to the start, click and drag to cut off that little bit of silence at the very start. There's not much there, so I don't have too much to cut. Cut, and that's the editing part done. I just hit save and exit, and that puts it back in here. Now to finish it off, to actually turn these recordings, pieced all together, edited, cleaned up into a final file that I can download, I hit build my episode here. And that is now processing it to create the final result that will let me download it and use it wherever I need to. And there we have it. This audio recording is now ready. 
Let's go to publish. Obviously, we're not publishing it as a podcast here, but so if I click that download button, it lets me save that file right to my computer for use wherever I need it. And that is your guide to online voice recorders. If you want to try Alitu for this, you can find it over at alitu.com. That's A-L-I-T-U.com. It's a seven day free trial, so you could record a few clips and see if it suits your workflow. And if you want to try any of the alternatives, because there's a few others out there, I'll pop a link on screen right here for my video that goes through them too. So you can have a look at the reviews of some of the alternatives from Zoom to a few others. But the recording portion works pretty similar, roughly the same for all of them. So it gives you an idea of how it works right here. And a final little request, if you've enjoyed this content, please do pop a question in below in the comments if you have any other questions. What else are you struggling with in this area? Audio recording, anything like that, podcasting, even if you're considering it, pop that question in below. I can answer it if I can, and it'll help me create more content for you in future. Make sure you subscribe and you'll see that pop out as soon as it's ready. Thanks again, and I'll see you on another one.